For this experiment, we will be using a 96-well plate previously coated with antibody and blocked with Stable Coat Immunoassay Stabilizer. Stable Coat Stabilizer blocks the plate to prevent nonspecific binding while simultaneously stabilizing the antibody to prevent degradation. Serially dilute your standard material using Sermotics assay diluent, which can be easily incorporated into any assay format. Using Sermotics assay diluent will help reduce nonspecific binding as well as matrix interferences and should be used for both the standard curve and samples. Once all serial dilutions are obtained, incubate for one hour at room temperature. Wash three times and tap off excess. Specifically formulated for horseradish peroxidase conjugate stability, Stablezyme HRP stabilizer is easily incorporated into any assay. It provides the user with a conjugate diluent that preserves antibody integrity and HRP activity. Once the antibody is diluted in Stablezyme HRP stabilizer, use a pipette to add to all wells to the ELISA plate. Incubate for two hours at room temperature, wash three times, and tap off any excess. To quantitate your samples, add 100 microliters of TMB to each well. After 10 minutes, add 100 microliters of BioFX stop solution to each well of the ELISA plate. Our BioFX TMB substrate line has formulations with different kinetic activity levels, allowing the researcher to optimize the reaction time of their assay. The reaction is stopped using Sermotic stop solution, which converts blue TMB product to yellow that can be monitored at 450 nanometers. Read the plate using a spectrophotometer capable of analyzing a 96-well plate. Print the data set and analyze your results. Samples of Sermotic stabilizers and substrates are available for you to try in your own lab free of charge. For more information on these products and other diagnostic applications, please visit our website.